Backyard 400 is over, and Ricky Rudd has won his 19th career victory. He led 15 to the 160 laps. We had 19 lead changes, a very competitive race. Six cautions held the average speed down to just under 131 miles an hour. Is he a happy guy or what? <laughs> Look at that smile. Pulling into victory lane right now is the young man from Chesapeake, Virginia. He gives Ford his 12th win of the year. Getting the congratulations of his wife, Linda. This is a young man that first made his racing mark in go-karts back in Chesapeake, Virginia. His first Winston Cup ride, he borrowed it from a friend of his from Chesapeake, Virginia. His brother and he argued over who would be the driver, who would be the crew chief. And now Ricky Rudd has come to the Brickyard 400, Victory Lane. And guess what, guys? He ran out of gas trying to get to Victory Lane. Ricky Rudd, you told the crew, you're the big dog today. Well, I tell you, these guys done a great job. We're a fourth, third, fourth place car today, and uh, they kept digging. In practice the other day, we were a last place car, and they didn't give up. They kept working on those tied whirlpool forward, and they got us pretty racing and a pitch strategy and fuel miles with uh, George Gable and uh, all the guys over there at Pro Motor did a great job today. So it's just uh, unbelievable here. Gary Myers did the tuning on the motor, so I don't know what to say. This is just a shock to me. Ricky, with about 20 or 30 laps to go, you began to back off the throttle just a little bit. Some people may have counted you out of the race, but you had begun to conserve fuel. Well, we knew this was going to be really tight, really tight. We were going to go for it. We were going to roll the dice. We were either going to win it or we are going to finish last. And, uh, uh, you know, those guys kept telling me, back off a little bit. If you don't back off, you're not going to make it. And then the cost was played right into our hand. Well, this is the time for the big payday, but it's also the time to receive the commemorative PPG brick. And your name will go on the PPG trophy. To make the presentation is the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Tony George. Bring you first of all, congratulations. You guys called the great race. On behalf of PPG, I'd like to present this with you on the 1997 uh, winning of the Brickyard 400. Thanks very much, Tony. It's just uh, there's a boy who had dreamed to be able to race here at Indianapolis and let alone race, but come here and win this thing uh, in, in the stock cars is unbelievable. I took a tour around here when I was 12 years old. We were racing go-karts down the street. Never thought we'd be racing here. It's unbelievable. When will it sink in? When will you and your wife get really emotional about this victory? Man, I don't know. I, I, I took my helmet off, took the window net down on the cool down lap, and just got a chance to think about it. Like saying hello to my dad back home. I know he's watching. Let's go back to the tower.